Let's go over how you can invert the colors of an object using Inkscape. On my screen here, I have this example design that I downloaded that consists of a grouping of vector objects. For this demonstration, I'm gonna create a duplicate of this design here by pressing Control D, and I'm gonna move this over to the right here, just so I have something to compare the end result to. So when you invert the colors of objects, what happens is you're taking a color and swapping it out with the color that opposes it on the color wheel. So every instance of blue will become orange, orange will become blue, yellow will become purple, so on and so forth. So to accomplish this in Inkscape, the first thing you'll want to do is select your object or objects. You can use multiple objects if you'd like. And with them selected, come up here to where it says Filters, go to Color, and select Invert. And once you do that, you will get this Invert menu with some settings that you can apply. So the first thing we'll want to do is turn on the Live Preview so we can see the changes as they're happening. And if you look just above that, you'll see these three options right here. The first one is Invert Hue. If I select that, and inverts all of the colors, as you can see there. But if you notice the eyes, which are white or lighter in color, they don't change, they remain a light shade. This is because we don't have invert lightness selected. So if I, if I select invert lightness, it inverts the lighter tones as well so that you get more of this photo negative effect. And then finally down here, what invert transparency does is, you won't see it on this example, but if you're working with a graphic that has areas of partial transparency, it'll just invert that. So for example, if it's 80% opaque, it'll become 20% opaque. So let me undo this. Let me undo the invert lightness because I think for this demonstration, it looks better like that. And if you come up here, we have this light transparency slider, which allows you to add lightness to the design if necessary. This can be useful sometimes because when you invert color, sometimes you get really dark results. This can help you lighten things up a bit. This example looks good with it not applied. So I'm gonna keep it down to zero. And then finally up here, you can choose to invert colors by the channels. So by default, we have no inversion, but if I invert by the red and blue channel, you get this effect right here. And if I toggle the hue, you can see we end up with that effect right there. So let's try and invert by the red and green channels. Now we get something like that. And without the hue applied, it looks like that. And then finally, we have green and blue. That looks like that. And without the hue, you end up with something like that right there. So that's something you could play around with. We can get all of these different results here, just like that. So I liked my results best with no inversion like that. And I'm gonna click apply, and then I'm gonna click close. And there you go, that is how you can invert the colors of an object using Inkscape. Now, one last thing I'd like to point out before I end this video is that when you apply this filter, you're not actually changing the colors of the objects. You're just changing the color of their appearance on your screen. Now, if I click on this object right here, this right here is the inverted copy, and this over here is the original copy. With this object selected, you can see here, this is a light shade of lavender. But if you look down here in the color status bar, it's still its original color, as you can see over here. That's how it's registering, because this is just a temporary filter that's applied to the object. Now, if you're going to be taking your design and exporting it as a JPEG or a PNG, then you can ignore this part of the video because this doesn't really apply here. But if you're going to take the SVG file and try to open it in another application, such as Cricut Design Space or Illustrator, this effect is not going to carry over because this is an Inkscape-specific effect. You're going to end up with this right here. So if you truly want your colors to be inverted, what you'll want to do is take an original copy and swap out and change the colors manually one by one. So if I select this object, I can come over here to my dropper tool and select that area. And now it is the desired color, as you can see there. So I'll do the same thing. I'm going to click on the nose now and do the same thing. I'm just going to use the keyboard shortcuts to toggle between the tools. For the dropper, the keyboard shortcut is D. And I'll click on that. And then I'll switch back to the selection tool, which is S, and I'll do the same thing over here. Switch back and forth between D and S, and you could just go through here one by one and change all of these colors like that. And there you go. Now we have a copy that has colors that are truly inverted, and then we have this filtered copy over here. Now, if you want to remove the filter at any time, you could just select the objects and come up here to where it says filters and go down to where it says remove filters, and now it's back to how it was previously. So that's how you can work with color inversion in Inkscape. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Inkscape Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Inkscape, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me 
anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.